Hi, my name is Eric Wong. I'm here at IDF 2013 with... I'm Jeff Ravencraft, and I'm the President and Chief Operating Officer of the USB Implementers Forum. Hi, thanks for joining us here today at Synopsys uh, IDF. What, um, what's new with USB 3.1? Well, Eric, it's a pleasure to be here with you. We just released the, the super speed USB 10 gigabit per second uh, USB 3.1 specification uh, in July. And um, we're actually demonstrating here at IDF uh, an early technology demo uh, showing uh, over 900 megabytes of throughput using uh, US, USB 3.1. But the, the key features of, of 3.1 are it's uh, 2x the performance over super speed USB. So we're going from 5 gigabit per second to 10 gigabit per second data rates. But we're able to use the, uh, take advantage of all the USB 3 infrastructure, uh, all, you know, everything done for the operating system, all the device class drivers, also being backward compatible all the way back to original USB. Um, we're also, because we're 2x the, the performance, we're also still even getting better uh, results for power efficiency, uh, which is excellent. Um, and so th those are kind of the key things around 3.1. Well, that's a great news. So you're demonstrating here at IDF. You've yeah. got um, the spec is out at 1.0. It leverages all the existing drivers and it's backward compatible. Right. Great. Yeah. Uh, and when might we see products? What's the rough thinking? Well, again, you know, the USB IF doesn't make or sell any products, but, um, I, you know, typically we would look at this type of thing from designing the silicon to uh, end products being available to purchase. We're probably looking at something for the holiday season next year. Thank you so much for the great news. Yeah, and thank you for joining my us. My pleasure. Today. Thanks for having me, Jeff.